This is not a home computer, but it's pretty close to it. This is an AIM data acquisition system, and this is what all the cars in the MX-5 Cup use. And it's basically a dockable unit that hooks up to a laptop, and it mounts right on the steering column. There's all the features that you can think of which would have the gauges on the car, like engine RPM and water and oil temperature and oil pressure as well. The other thing that it also indicates is shock rebound and compression, throttle response, braking response. They can actually hook the data acquisition system up to a laptop. The driver can watch his laps run on the computer to find his weak points and his strong points out on the speedway. And oh yeah, you know that telemetry you see every week on TV? Guess where it comes from? Yeah, I'll tell you what, the, uh, doing all this data logging is really great stuff and it helps the crew so much knowing what the car is doing and how to fix it. The unfortunate part is a driver, they can show you after the race every mistake you made. <laughs> and tell you, you need to pick it up here, then it's on you to try yeah. to figure out how to do that, right? Yeah, exactly. Every miss shift, you can't lie about any of that because it shows you what gear you're in and what you did. Well, speaking of shifter issues, Brad Rampelberg, who has that problem with not being able to get beyond fourth gear, he's still second. We'll see if Eric Foss can get by him. The points leader in the 28th car there hasn't been able to find his way around Rampelberg yet. I'll tell you what, Rampelberg's doing a heck of a job for having one gear. Fortunately, it seems like fourth gear works most of the track, but you know, it's tough to drive with one and you, you're driving your tail off trying to go as fast as you can and then somebody catches you and you think, oh boy. But you know, he still looks like he can hang in there to do something good in this race and speed he's going. Race leader is Robert Huffmaster. He's taken advantage of Rampelberg's problems to pull away to a significant lead. And Eric Foss, I'm thinking, has got to find a way by. Here he goes now on the inside. Yeah, Rampelberg's not making it easy for Whoa. him. I'll tell you that, he's just him side by side. And you're talking about the guy who's leading the championship and uh, very fast, been on all the podiums and he's having a tough time getting by. You're doing a good job with one gear. Eric Voss in the Auto Barn Mazda MX-5 is now second, and he continues his amazing run here. He hasn't been out of the top four at all this season. I'll tell you, that's what wins championships, too. You know, winning is great, and he's done his share, but, you know, it's that thing of not making the big mistake, being on the podium, don't break the car, and be there every time that wins the championships, and I think Eric's doing a good job. Hard on the brakes there, got a little sideways on the brakes as he came into that corner. And here's Shims, I mean, and he's been doing a great job. He was back out of it there for a long time. He's dropped that whole pack and out by himself. I don't know what happened at the beginning of the race, but he's up there now. Take a look here at Mark Jenkins out of Texas, one of the other Team MER cars. This is the Traxxas entry. He and his brother uh, compete in the series. And there's Aaron Malkasian. You pointed out, Elliot, while we were in break, he was as far back as 12th after that spin. He's worked his way up to 6th. That's yeah, a great run for him. I thought that once he went off with these cars being as equal as they are and how hard it is to pass here, that he wouldn't be coming up. But I think Harris doing a super job of coming up through this pack. The track is drying out now, which is making it a lot easier. And uh, you can probably run off the line a little bit better, but he's doing a super job to get up this far. Holding back the Shopzilla.com car, Robert McCallion out of California. As they battle for position sixth and seventh, we got a glimpse of that fight for eighth. Tim Probert and Randy Hale in the Patron Tequila car a moment ago. He's from Connecticut, not too far from home. For a lot of these drivers, this is a long trip. We have a lot of teams from California and Texas, and they may go in trouble. The 54 goes off course, fights to get it back on the racetrack. That's Brad Adams, one of the other team MER entries. Yeah, he had, he had his hands full there, getting back and forth, but he didn't go all the way around, so he didn't lose a lot of time there. But you can see how tough it is today, and, you know, the crew is going to have a heck of a job cleaning these cars, getting them ready for the next time they go out now. <laughs> have to pressure wash everything when you get done here. Now, it's true, and uh, actually, oh, Allison Malkasian goes around now, too. She's still having her problems going on. At the back of the field, after repairing that car, a hard wreck during practice, we talked with her earlier, and Allison gets back on the racetrack. This is Aaron Malkasian here. Let's take another look from Allison's viewpoint. Yeah, coming in, actually lost it going into the corner, and it's that's amazing. You usually lose it coming out of the corner, but it uh, looks like she just got in there a little bit too fast, and when she pulled it in tight, it came around on her. She was able to find a gear and continue there, and you know, having that experience earlier in the weekend of a hard hit to the concrete, just to come back and race despite the repairs to the car. You've got to get your mind right to come back and run, don't you? Well, you have to just have faith in what you were doing is right and that that was just a little error and you, you learn from your error and don't do that again. But you just have to understand that you can do it. You don't usually crash, so that's going to be okay. 
Robert Huffmaster in the 27 car. Will he bag his second win of the season? Looks very strong here at New Jersey Motorsports Park at the Thunderbolt Raceway course. Huffmaster leads Foss, Rampelberg, and Ryan Shims. We'll be right back. <laughs> 